Idalia's impact is still coming into focus as residents return to what's left and start cleaning up. In some areas, residents have been warned they could be without power for weeks, and many are trying to decide whether to rebuild. It's the worst storm we've ever been through, and, uh, and we're going to rebuild. Uh, it'll never be the same. President Biden and the First Lady will travel to Florida Saturday to see the damage. On Friday, he approved a disaster declaration, providing federal funds to help areas rebuild. Hello. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis was touring aftermath yes, when he took a call from the president. We're in Horseshoe Beach now. It's pretty rough here. Um, and there's a lot of folks putting stuff together. The damage stretches into Georgia, where Idalia lingered over the state. On Friday, the governor also requested federal disaster assistance. Damage assessments are taking longer due to, as I mentioned, Idalia taking uh, longer to move through our state than any other state during uh, this storm. Amid the damage, the storm brought an unexpected sight, a flock of flamingos spotted near St. Petersburg. The birds arrived with the storm, possibly from Mexico, a rare, bright sight, as so many confront the tough reality of Idalia's aftermath. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News.